Okay, we're going to basically take a stock MCPX that's flying and put it on the converted MCPX brushless frame that we sell. So basically, it'll be the same as the conversion kit. Okay, so this is the frame with the brushless motor. This is as it comes in the kit. What we're going to do is basically assemble the whole helicopter from, from scratch so you can see what it's like when you get it. So this will be with the brushless motor. I'm going to put the servos on one at a time. Okay, so that's the servo installation. You've got the frame with all three servos on it and the brushless motor installed. What we're now going to do is put the main board back on and plug these three servos in. The Elevator servo goes in the top port. The other two servos go left and right, respective. So we have the frame with the main board and the three servos. Just clean up a little bit of this wiring, shove it down. Now we can install the main rotor head, hook the servos back up. Okay, the servos heads on. The servos are hooked up. We can put the bottom gear on. Kind of spin it while you're putting it on. Get it tight. Plug the motor in. I know which way this one gets plugged in. Um, but you may have to test it on yours to verify its motors turning in the right direction. And then you're going to double side tape this thing to the bottom corner. something that looks 
looks like that. Then you can plug in the original board to the SC and this little red wire is going to plug into the old motor port which is the top port and it goes the wire goes to the inside of the frame all right so that's all the wiring that's required for the brushless you can see the red wire is in that top port to the inside and then brushless boards right here in the front and this extra lead here is for the battery so that's fully wired uh, the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to run this steel tail push rod Uh, tail boom, I'm sorry. Tail boom just slides with the wires coming out the bottom. Slide it all the way in. And then you can just wrap wiring around the tail like so. making sure that the notch is towards the bottom. We can slide this right in the frame. Fits nice and snug. And then you're just gonna hook it in the port for the tail, which is the lower one. All right, so we got all the servos, we got the head, main gear, the brushless conversion hooked up, the tail is on, and the tail fin just snaps on to the tail boom, just like the stock one. Got that on. The only thing we got left is landing gear. and the blades. Before I put the blades on, I'm going to just initialize this once so everybody can see, listen to the initialization process. It's usually a matter of how long the transmitter is on before the receiver picks up the signal. So you should let your transmitter boot up for a few, you know, good 30 seconds before you plug the helicopter in. But that's what it sounds like initialized. Okay, so all we got left is put the main blades on. And the canopy. Okay.